ایران میں اسماعیل ہانیہ پر حملے نے پورے مشرق وسطی کا امن خطرے میں ڈال دیا ہے اقوام متحدہ نے صورتحال پر غور کے لیے سلامتی کاؤنسل کا ہنگامی اجلاس طلب کر لیا ہے جو کہ آج رات منعقد ہونے جا رہا ہے اسماعیل ہانیہ کی نماز جنازہ آج تحریم تہران میں ادا کر دی گئی جبکہ ان کو کل دوہا میں سپورت خاک کر دیا جائے گا ایران اسماعیل ہانیہ پر حملے کو اپنی قومی سلامتی پر حملہ کرا دے رہا ہے اور اس کا جواب دینے کا بھی ارادہ رکھتا ہے اسماعیل ہانیہ کی شہادت کے بعد اسرائیل کے حماس کے ایک اور بڑے لیڈر کی شہادت کا دعویٰ بھی کر دیا گیا ہے اسرائیل کے مطابق حماس کے عسکری ونگ کے سربراہ اور سات اکتوبر کے زمینی حملے کے ماسٹر مائن محمد ضعیف تیرہ جولائی کو خان یونس میں بمباری کی وجہ سے شہید ہو گئے تیرہ جولائی کے اس حملے کے حوالے سے اب تک متضاد اطلاعات ملتی رہی تھی لیکن اب اسرائیل کا دعویٰ یہ سامنے آ رہا ہے کہ شہید ہونے والے نوے سے زائد افراد میں محمد زیف بھی شامل تھے امریکی اخبار نیو یارک ٹائمز نے دعویٰ کیا ہے کہ ایران کے سپریم لیڈر آیت اللہ خامنائی نے سپریم نیشنل سیکیورٹی کاؤنسل کے ہنگامی اجلاس میں حماس کے رہنما اسماعیل ہانیہ کی شہادت کا بدلہ لینے کے لیے اسرائیل پر براہ راست حملے کا حکم دے دیا ہے اخبار کے مطابق سپریم نیشنل سیکیورٹی کاؤنسل کا یہ اجلاس اسماعیل ہانیہ کی شہادت کے فوری بعد ہنگامی طور پر طلب کیا گیا تھا امریکی اخبار نے مبینہ طور پر اس مقام کی تصاویر بھی جاری کر دی ہیں جہاں اسماعیل ہانیہ کو قتل کیا گیا ہے اسماعیل ہانیہ کو قریبی عمارت سے داغی کئے میزائل کا نشانہ بنایا گیا اکارڈنگ ٹو دس رپورٹ اسرائیلی میڈیا رپورٹ کے مطابق جو میزائل ہے وہ اسماعیل ہانیہ کو براہ راست لگا انفارچونیٹلی جس کے بعد وہ شہید ہو گئے اس سے قبل یوپی مبصر مشرق وسطی کے بھی طرف سے دعویٰ کیا گیا کہ اسماعیل ہانیہ کو نشانہ بنانے کے لیے اسرائیل کا جاسوسی سافٹ ویئر استعمال کیا گیا ہے بہت کچھ ہو رہا ہے دیر از الاٹ آف ڈیولپمنٹ گوئنگ آن لیکن یقیناً ایک مشکل وقت ہے وہ ایک ایسے لیڈر تھے اسماعیل ہانیہ حماس کے جنہوں نے ہر فورم پر جا کر فلسطینی عوام کے لیے آواز اٹھائی لیٹس واچ اٹ ہمارے ساتھ ڈیپٹی ہیڈ آف پیلسٹینین مشن نادر الترک موجود ہیں تھینک یو سو مچ فار بینگ آن دا پروگرام سو ایگزیکٹلی اپ ٹل ناؤ اسرائیل ہیز ناٹ ایکسیپٹیڈ دی اسیسنیشن اور افیشلی ڈکلیئرڈ اٹ واٹ ڈو یو تھنک از گوئنگ آن اینڈ ہو ڈو یو تھنک از بہائنڈ اٹ السلام علیکم تھینک یو سسٹر فار گیو می دا اونر ٹو بی یور گیسٹ ٹو نائٹ Actually, we have only one enemy in this world, which is of the Israelis, who are targeting Palestinian people only because they are Palestinians. They are killing Palestinian leaders. This is not the first time they make this crime. Before, they killed many of Palestinian leaders, like they poisoned His Excellency Yasser Arafat. They killed Ahmed Yassin. They killed Abdelaziz Arantisi. They killed Khalil al-Wazir. They killed many of the Palestinian leaders around the world. Yusuf Najjar, Kamal Adwan. The list is very long, so what, what I can account to you to account. So, the Israelis are the only enemy who is targeting our leaders, targeting our people, targeting our children, killing in cold blood outside of the court, outside of the law, outside of the national law. If there is other one can be helping them, supporting them, that is going to be for sure the Americans, because only the Americans are partners in these crimes against humanity. They are partners in the Israeli crimes against the Syrian people. So if there is other one, other hand involved in this, it's going to be for sure the American government. So Israel and the American government can be involved only in this issue. Right. Um, as we know, there were talks of ceasefire before this development. Do you think there's any chance of those being um, started again? Actually, to be clear, Israelis don't like to have ceasefire. I speak about Israeli's government, and mm. actually we have two positions. Israeli's people, Israeli's army, Israeli's intelligence departments are seeking after and looking for ceasing fire because they are like to have risk because they never fight for 10 months. Always they are involved in war for three five, six days, not more than this. So this is, I think, the first time in history after they are occupied 
uh, Beirut and south of Lebanon in 1982, when they faced our freedom fighters there, they fought, it was a war for 88 days. But this is, a never, this is the first time ever the Israeli army involved in war for more than 10 months. So, on the other hand, the Israeli government, with Prime Minister uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, don't like to have a ceasefire because the meaning of that that is going to be the end of his government, and he's going to face four cases in the co Israeli court of corruption, and he's going to spend the rest of his life in jail. So he is afraid about the second day after this war against Gaza. So he don't like this war to be end, and he like to extend it to be to go to Yemen, go to Lebanon, and who knows? Maybe he go even for other other countries around in the region. So um, how exactly do you think Iran should respond to this attack? Uh, there are reports in a U.S. newspaper, U.S.-based newspaper, saying that the Supreme Leader has actually said that we will retaliate. Uh, what is your expectation? First of all, sister, I am a Palestinian official. I'm not an Iranian official. So this question can be answered by Iranian official because this is their decision. They are an independent country. They're our brothers, so they know how how can they respond and what they can do. They, know, they can understand and make analysis for what they like to do and what they can do. But on the other hand, yesterday they take the case, our Iranian brother, to the United Nations to be de decided and discussed there to decide what's going to be the international uh, community answer of this crime by the Israelis by attacking other independent country territories. If they get satisfied from that, they, they can. If they are not satisfied of what, if the American use veto or something against that, they have the right to do what they want and what they feel it is make them satisfied. It looks like Israel is having a rethink of its strategy. Instead of atta attacking civilians on Gaza, maybe, or, or in addition to doing that, they are now planning to attack one by one all the Hamas leadership, uh, who they claim are part of the military wing. Will this change strategy have an impact? Sister, as I mentioned before, Israelis like to take this region for more conflict, to make this war never end because they like to get out from this war one main thing, to transfer, displace Palestinian people outside of Palestine, because they want to... Israel, when it was established as a state in 1948, it was established over one, many lies. One of the lies that is Palestine, a land without people for people without land. So they like to make their lives facts on the ground by displaced Palestinian out of Palestine. That's why if you are following what's happening on the ground in Gaza, they destroy all the infrastructure. 80 yes, I was going to ask you exactly now, what is the situation they in Gaza? All the, all the universities, many schools, most of the hospitals, because they don't want to leave anything to uh, support li the living of people on in Gaza land. And they're going to do the same on, on West Bank, if they have the opportunity for that. 